switch on the machine the main menu appears now you can go into configuration and set the desired language you can either choose German Spanish or English I will use Spanish to go back into the main menu now you can go into position and drive the machine to the starting point you can see the machine has a high distance and I will drive it to the end point the machine will automatically stop at the end point when reaching the end because there's a switch. Now you can insert the probe. <coughs> you open the two clamps and insert the probe. You can adjust the thickness by spinning the two wheels. Insert the probe and close the clamps. This must be must be very strong, but not unclosable. If it's not strong enough, spin again a little bit and close the handle. Now we go back into the main menu <coughs> and go into measurement and auto position. Here kick we can set the speed. If necessary we can recalibrate a little bit the force, the starting force. We can calibrate can give it the sample a name. So, for example, the name of the construction site where we are working on. The machine will give each sample a new number. So, if you do several tests, the machine will count. You can set the date and the time. If you have set everything, you can go to start. And the machine will start to go to the auto position. Auto positioning is the place where the machine will measure the first force. Then it will stop again. That's it. Now the machine will ask you to start the measurement. And we start. When having destroyed the sample, the machine will automatically drive back into the starting position so that you can insert the next sample. There we are. Now the machine has got exited into the main menu again. We can now go to see the data. And here we can see everything what we measured. The actual one is the upper one. Then we can see the maximum force and the complete distance which has been passed. We can also see a diagram so that it, we can find out the maximum point and we can have a chart where we ha also have every information and we can scroll through you can look into every data and have every diagram and chart of every data you can also put the data on a flash drive the machine will show 
an error message if you don't have the flashcard in the machine or if the flashcard does not work. When finished with uploading the data on the flashcard, the machine will show a message called data OK. Afterwards, you can either delete them all data from the machine. The machine will ask you if yes or no. If yes, it will delete everything. And now you can eject the flashcard and shut down the machine. And afterwards, we go onto the computer and finish everything with evaluation software. Thanks for using Munch Accurate